Anyway, there, Toro. Okay, ah. let me go with you. I know this Judge Trumbull. He's a brave and honorable man. Muy simpatico. He's the best. His message said he wanted to see me alone. Are we not, compadres? Where you go, I go. Besides, I'm nobody. I'll be the little man who is not there. You're so right. You won't be there because you're going to be here. I'll join you later. Judge. Kit, I got your message. You're not Kit Carson. That's right, Judge. But don't worry. Carson will be along directly. You're Boone Williams, the curly-haired kid. Right again. Remember what I told you after you sentenced me to 10 years in the territorial prison? You said you would... And I'm a man who always keeps his promise. like a dog. I'll get you for it if it takes the rest of my life. Now, wait a minute. Who's your father? <laughs> Judge Eli Trumbull. As if you didn't know. Judge Trumbull? I Chihuahua. But I had no reason to kill your husband, Mrs. Trumbull. He was my friend. I loved and respected him. As did everyone in New Mexico. His death will be a great loss to the territory. But I saw him do it. I saw you. Mrs. Trumbull, you must believe me. What were you doing riding out there, Kit? I got a message from the judge saying he wanted me to meet him at Monument Rock alone. Who brought the message? A writer I'd never seen before, Matt. He brought the message to me at Rayado. El Toro and I were stopping at the hotel on our way to Taos. How'd the judge know you'd be there? I generally stopped in to see him when I was in this section of the country. But it did seem kind of strange he wanted me to meet him so secretly. Do you know anything about this meeting, why the judge asked for it? He's lying. It was just the other way around. Carson sent a message for my dad to come out and meet him, and come out alone. Who brought that message? Some stranger, but he said he knew dad. He even came back to warn me that it might be a trap, that somebody might bushwhack Dad. And that's why you followed him? Yeah, but I was too late to be of any help. But I saw Carson shoot him down without giving him a chance. Matt, this is a trap. Can't you see that? I never sent that message. You only had El Toro as a witness, Kit. I know he should not leave me behind. Now I really am the man who was not there. But the judge's message said he wanted to see me alone. An eyewitness swears he saw you kill Judge Trumbull. I've got to arrest you, Kit. Hand over your guns. Sheriff, I know you're a friend of Carson's, so I'm warning you now not to let him escape. If he does, I'll gun him down for the last thing I ever do. Come on, Kit.
Sorry, kid. You've got your job to do, Matt. But I don't have to enjoy it. Judge Trumbull was a big man in these parts. He pioneered here. He fought for law and order and the rights of the Indian. People ain't gonna like it when word gets out what happened. That's what worries me. Do not worry, kid. El Toro will think of something to get you out of there pronto. What have you got in mind, Toro? You'll see, my friends. I will not fail you, compadre. Hasta luego. I must speak with you. Please let me in. El Toro, you should not be here. What's in your play? He will shoot you. El Toro fears no man. Querida mía. Un momento. You said you must speak with me. Is this how you talk with words? Well, my mind is filled with words, but my heart is filled with love. At the sight of your beauty, my brain is afire and the words are destroyed. They are very pretty. Your heart is filled with love. And so is that of your amigo Kit Carson, I suppose? Kit Carson did not kill Josh Trumbull. That is what I must see you about. Maria, did you see the man who brought the message supposed to come from Kit Carson? See, si, I see him. Did you know him? I know him. He is bad. Muy malo. I see him, but he did not see me. His name, Chiquita, his name. The man who brought the message to Judge Trumbull. He was Monty Maringer. Monty Maringer? Are you sure? I am sure. I see him many times in Santa Fe when I go there to visit my aunt and uncle. Maria, why did you not tell this to George Trumbull? Because I am afraid. And now, because I did not tell him, the judge is dead. You could not know this, Chilita. And now you save Kit Carson's life, perhaps. A life for a life is an even trade, no? Monty Merringer, one of the curly-haired kids' gang, but nobody would identify him. Well, people knew, but they were afraid to tell, like Maria. He was a bad hombre. He'd just as soon shoot to a spit on you. Well, now we know who killed Judge Trumbull, eh? Boone Williams, the curly-haired kid. Yeah, but he's in the territorial prison. Remember, you caught him, Kit. That's right. He was sentenced to 10 years by the judge. He threatened to kill both the judge and myself when he got out. Yeah, but that was only seven years ago. The curly-haired kid was released two weeks ago. His sentence was shortened for good behavior. Good behavior. He's been playing possum for seven years just so he could get a chance like this. He was the one Clay Trumbull saw. Sure. He planted the idea that the judge was coming out to meet me. And then dressed like me and riding a horse like mine. So now you can let Kid out of jail. No, Sheriff Ford. Now, hold on a minute. We can't prove anything yet. We've got to find the curly-haired kid. He went back to the panhandle where he used to hole up. There's no law in the panhandle. It's outside any state or territory. I can't go after him there. No, Matt, but I can. You asking me to release you, Kit? Why, with a feeling against you now, I'd be the honored guest at a lynching bee and run out of office to boot. I'm not asking you to release me, Matt. I'm going to break jail. Cover him, Toro. Yeah. Get the drop on me and take my gun. Ah, see, si, see. Si. The keys are on my desk, along with Kit's guns. Thanks, Matt. I know the chances you're taking for me. No, no, on my desk. It's El Toro. He's up to something. That's why I followed him. Carson's broken out. Come on, they're getting away. Back, Harry!
kid. I don't like this always running away from Clay Trumbull. He's a hot-headed kid, and we don't want to hurt him. But he don't feel that way about you. I know, but we don't want him to do anything foolish. I agree with you that killing us would be foolish, but how do we get that idea out of his head? Come on. Where to? To the last place he'd expect us to go, to the Trumbull home. What are you, loco, kid? I got I. I'd like to have a little talk with you. No. Talking won't help now. Go away. The judge was my friend. But Clay saw him. Clay saw someone he thought was me. That's what I'd like to talk to you about. All right. Come in. Mrs. Trumbull, I just broke jail in order to find your husband's killer. El Toro and I are going out for him right now. But that's a job for the sheriff. You can't take the law into your own hands. Well, we're going. There is no law. The panhandle. El Toro. You are going into the Badlands. I am afraid for you. It's nothing. Nada. I want you to talk to Claire. I want you to stop him from trailing us. We're going in a mighty dangerous country, and I can't be responsible for his safety. What can I do? Reason with him. Try to make him understand that I want to find his father's killer as much as he does. The boy won't listen to me. He believes what he saw. Then I'm sorry, Mrs. Trumbull. Toro? I will wait for your return, El Toro. Hasta luego. Adios. Carson broke jail. I'll see you later, Ma. Clay, listen to me. You can't take the law into your own hands. I'm going after him. But you can't. They're riding into the panhandle, the Badlands. Good. I'll be right behind them. Oh, no, son, no. Look, I'm not a kid. I know what I'm doing. We're in the panhandle, we're on our own. In an outlaw's paradise. You want to go back? Where do you go? I go. We don't have to use our own names. Oh, yes, we do. But everybody knows the name of Kit Carson. It will not be safe. Well, that's the whole idea. In case we can't find the curly-haired kid, word will get to him that we're in the panhandle, and he'll come looking for us. He won't want us to get back across the border alive. That's exactly what I mean. The kid and his gang used to headquarter at Mule Springs. It's only a short ride from here. Carson. 
We don't like lawmen in the panhandle. I've been on the side of the law in my time, but a man can change sides. Meaning what? I generally don't like strangers asking me questions, mister. But in your case, I'll make an exception. They had me for murder back in Riado. With the help of my good friend, I broke jail. That's right, senor. I help him. They take Kit for killing Judge Strumble. Well, that story of the jailbreak can be checked. The news will probably come through in the next stagecoach. Well, you can stay. But you'll have to turn in your guns until then. I'll keep my guns. Me too. I feel so naked without them. Kid, I don't like this. Everybody's watching us. I feel like eyes are crawling over me like little bugs. Sure, that's one of the kids' gang. That means the curly-haired kid is here. That's right. And as soon as we're sure that he knows we're here, then we'll leave. Well, the sooner we get away from these unfriendly mule springs, the better I'll feel. We ride all this way only to turn around and ride back? That's right. They won't want us to get back across the border alive. Ah, so we lead them a merry chase like the fox and hounds, no? That's right. And if we want to take the kid back with us, we got to get him out of this town. Kid, are you sure that we're the bait, or are we the ones that are walking into the trap? Good. I've got Carson right where I want him, in my own backyard. What about his sidekick? We'll take care of both of them. Tortillas con frijoles. I'm weak from hunger, kid. Is there time for us to eat? Maybe it would be better if we split up. That way we can watch both sides of the street. And I need nourishment to replenish my strength. All right, go ahead and eat. And if you need me, I'll come immediately, if not sooner. Keep your wits about you and stay out of trouble. Trouble? How could I get into any more trouble than we have already? You know what I mean, senoritas. But it's my stomach that's hungry, kid, not my heart. And besides, from now on, I'm true only to Maria. Tortillas con frijoles, food for the strong and the brave. <laughs> Come on, Toro. 
The gun's tore up. Now take it a little bit easier the rest of the way, gentlemen. You're not going back to New Mexico, Carson. Drop those guns. Face me, Carson, or you'll get it in the back like you deserve. If you want the killer of your father, there he is. Take a good look. He's the curly-haired kid. He threatened to get your father, and he did. The curly-haired kid? I've seen your face in a lot of posters. And the man who sent me out after my father. Thank you, Kip, for saving my son from a tragic mistake. I'm afraid I made a fool of myself. Curly had us both fooled for a while. Where's your friend, El Toro? I should thank him, too. I will always be true to you, querida. I do not ever look on another girl. What about the girl in Mule Springs, El Toro? What girl, Kit? Why, the waitress at the cantina, remember? We're so interested in one another, we pretty near didn't get out of town alive. So, you, deceiver, Don Juan, El Toro, the ball, that is a good name for you. Te equivocas, te quiero, de ver. I was hoping I would teach him a lesson, but I doubt it. Thank <laughs> you. 